So the next thing that I need to start thinking about is shock mounting location. Ideally, you want the shock to be as close to that pivot point at the end as possible. But since I have those big giant tall knuckles in the way, I could only mount the shocks about halfway up, which I think is fine because on this design, I've got 30 degrees of up travel, 25 degrees of droop. And so that gave me 30 inches of wheel travel on the front, which is pretty nuts. I mean, a lot of trophy trucks have 30 inches of wheel travel in the rear, but this is just as big as possible. And the way that I achieved that was I put those mounting points on the inboard side as close as possible to each other. And then I increased the width of the vehicle a little bit so that I could get the maximum lever arm angle on those trailing arms. And so what I need to do next on the lower control arm is figure out how to attach those three pieces in the assembly together. So if you remember, I have that machine steel piece in the middle and then two billet aluminum pieces on the outside, and they're gonna be sandwiched together. So what I'm gonna do is bolt them together and then pin them together as well. And the bolt just ties the assembly together longitudinally with respect to the direction of travel of the vehicle. The pins take the main load bearing force between the part that's connected to the wheel and the parts that's connected to the vehicle. The reason you want to do that is because bolts are only strong in one direction and they're long axis, whereas pins are stronger in shear quite significantly. So anytime you have a shear force between two components in an assembly, you want to pin them together. The other main thing is pins are really good at locating features together. You can precisely cut a pin hole using a machine tool called a reamer, whereas most clearance holes for bolts are just cut with drills and drills are not very precise because they wobble. So you drill a pilot hole with a bolt, then you drill a pinhole with a reamer and you can really place that hole accurately so that the three components in the assembly are tied together in a really strong way.